It's about a controversial health class assignment at a high school in Eugene. It has parents upset to say the least, and I think when you hear the details, you'll understand why. It's even drawn a response from Oregon Governor Tina Cote. Yeah, so this assignment that we're talking about at Churchill High School asked students to share a sexual fantasy. As bad as this world is with all the things that you see, you would probably think that you are, you are probably unable to be shocked anymore. Uh, we've seen some things, and so we would say things like, nothing else shocks me anymore, doesn't surprise me anymore. But then we continuously see things that just defies logic and wonder, how are these things allowed to take place? I'm gonna show you a couple of clips, and I wanna give you something that, is, I'll be honest with you, it is going to make you want to use profanity. It's going to make you want to lose your mind. It's going to make you want to just do something. Uh, as believers, obviously, we recognize the kind of world that we're in. It's a fallen world. It's a world that's getting worse. It's not getting better. And I'm going to give you proof exactly what I mean. In Oregon, there was a football coach, this man, Kevin Miller, who was also a teacher. I think the class that he teaches is health to humans or something like that, some sort of sexual education class. This is also further proof why we should not be teaching sex ed in school. That should be something that's left up to the parents, to the mothers and fathers. But instead, we give this over to the schools to teach them what they want our children to learn, how they want them to think. And we obviously understand who's ultimately behind this. The enemy is after our children. And so godless people who don't know the Lord, who don't care to know the Lord, who don't want you to know the Lord, want to influence your children, ultimately influence the world. So here we have this teacher, Kevin Miller, being spoken about how he gave an assignment. The assignment that he issued was on this wheel of something. I'm not sure the exact terminology, but basically on the wheel, uh, there were some things that the children were asked to choose which one would they do and to whom would they do it with. They would have to then turn in a paper explaining their choices. I'm Keith uh, Many of you know me, so I am here to discuss this atrocity of assignments. I want to first say you're a liar. It's not a rumor. I have the proof right here in my phone of the whom with you, with whom would you do it with? And my daughter specifically stated that the teacher put up a will on the class board and it stated anal penetration, oral sex, licking of ear, kissing, and he wanted them to write down the initials of a boy or girl that they would do these activities with. Now, I don't know what's worse, wanting to know my child's sexual fantasy or who they're gonna have anal penetration and oral sex with. What is he gaining from this? What do you gain from this information? Why has my daughter that naively did the assignment? Because she's scared. She wants to get good grades. She wants to be, you know, get her license. She has to get good grades. And so she does this assignment. Where's the assignment? Why hasn't she had it turned back to her with her grade on it? What is he doing with it? Is this for his spank bank? Is he literally using this for his sexual deviant? These are questions that need to be answered. He, he verbally abused, verbally sexually abused every single child in that classroom. You look up the definition, I gave you the paper for the definition of verbal sexual abuse. Now, sexual abuse is sexual abuse. So where's the criminal charges? Why is he still teaching? Is it because he's the football coach and Churchill's doing good? Don't want to lose that hype? Because football doesn't matter when it comes to our children, okay? This sexual deviant needs to be removed. If you do not remove him, I'm giving you my word today that tomorrow morning, I will go down to the county clerk's office and I will file for the removal of every single one of you. Yeah. Now, a couple of interesting things about this. One, like the father said, this is completely inappropriate. Obviously, this is gross, it's ridiculous. Why would a grown man want to know the sexual fantasies of these children and also with whom? So you know their innermost thoughts and so forth, something so private. Truth be told, they shouldn't have these thoughts, but what you're doing is you're encouraging them to have these thoughts. And then, I don't know if you caught what he said, teachers, when they get an assignment turned into them, 
they turn it back to the kids with the letter grade. Why didn't this teacher turn that assignment back in to the kids to see what they got? Could it be that he didn't want them, the parents, to know anything about this assignment? Also, could it be that he's holding on to this information about these kids' fantasies? Now, just when you think it couldn't get any worse. It's about a controversial health class assignment at a high school in Eugene. It has parents upset to say the least, and I think when you hear the details, you'll understand why. It's even drawn a response from Oregon Governor Tina Cote. Yeah, so this assignment that we're talking about at Churchill High School asked students to share a sexual fantasy. Our Devin Haskins joins us in studio this morning. And Devin, school officials say they are now reviewing that curriculum. Yeah, Christine, that's correct. It's part of the Health 2 Human Sexuality class at Churchill High School. The health classes use a curriculum called OWL, meaning our whole lives. It was developed by the Unitarian Universalist Association and the United Church of Christ and adopted by the school district seven years ago. The assignment in question asked students to write a paragraph or two about a sexual fantasy, but without penetration. The last line of the assignment says it's to show that you can show and receive loving physical affection without having sex. In an email to parents, the school's principal says the OWL curriculum is endorsed by the Oregon Department of Education. But according to the Oregonian, a spokesperson for the ODE says OWL is not on that list. Parents in the district. Rightfully so, we're furious once they learned of the assignment. A class assignment even gaining the attention of Governor Tina Kotek. A representative for Kotek sent KGW this statement when asked about the assignment. They write, the governor is appalled and thinks these assignments are woefully inappropriate and unacceptable. They do not reflect educational best practices or Oregon standards. Now, this is not the first assignment that's raised some eyebrows. A previous assignment from that class from February was titled, With Whom Would You Do It? Students spun a, a wheel with various sexual acts on it and then were asked to list the initials of a male or a female that they would do the each activity with. The teacher of this class is new to the district and a football coach for the school. The school district now says the sexual fantasy assignment will be removed from the class syllabus and will not count towards the students grades. This time, this is a second incident. This is a second assignment that was given to them. It was offered to them. They had to turn in, make a short little essay, a short report on this. Not as bad as the first one in terms of not having any sort of uh, penetration, but this is to do to show that you can show affection and love without actually having physical contact. And something else that is also brought up uh, in the assignment, it says this, let me just read this, it says, you will choose three items, romantic music, candles, massage oil, feather, feather boa, flavored syrup, etc to use in your story. Your story should show that you can show and receive loving physical affection without having sex. Completely inappropriate and why would he want to have that assignment? This is not talking about how the, the human body works. This is not like sex, sex ed was when maybe we were in school where it's talking about just the physical anatomy of the human body and so forth and how certain organs in the body work and, and things like that. No, and even then that was kind of controversial, but even now it's gone past that. This is talking about how to do certain things, why you should do certain things, and, and introducing certain items to uh, increase the arousal and so forth. Now, why I say this was shocking and even worse than the first is because this is the second time the school decided to remove the curriculum. Now, when, I don't know if you caught that. The school decided to remove the curriculum, but at that time did not decide to remove the teacher. So the main... So the man who has or who knows of their sexual fantasies, their desires, who's around these children, this groomer, he was allowed to stay. Now, fortunately, I guess the better part of the news is that after enough, enough outrage and enough pressure from the parents, they finally put him on paid administrative leave. Why he's not fired, I do not understand. Uh, but again, this is something that you all as parents need to consider when you are sending your children to school and to what school. Personally, I do not trust the public school system. My wife, who's also a teacher, uh, will probably say the same thing. As a matter of fact, public school teachers are the group of professionals who have the highest percentage of sending their children to private school or home school or something other than public school. This is the reason why. Pray about sending them to a private school. Pray about homeschooling. If you can't homeschool, pray about having them go to a homeschool co-op. Pray about having someone else who does have the ability to homeschool your child to see if they'd be willing to do so. There are 
organizations out there. There are people out there that would do that. Uh, or at the very least, if you can't, make sure that you are in some way, shape, form, or fashion active in your schools, in your child's school. Make sure that you know the curriculum that is being put forward. You do have that right by law, no matter what state you're in, you do have that right by law. But you can also see why some of these school boards have literally sued to keep some of these parents quiet. This is the reason why. It should never be that the school board or the school does not want a parent to know the curriculum. But there's a reason why. There's a diabolical, a sinister reason behind it. And so be on guard, be on prayer. And here's the scary part. And I want you guys to think about this. In 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, these children and the children to come who are going through this, who maybe the alarm wasn't sounded or uh, it wasn't brought up, a, a fuss wasn't made. These children are going to be adults in our world, either making decisions, working with us, working for us, uh, being the bosses and so forth. These children are going to now, with all of their indoctrination, they are now going to be the peers of the rest of the adult community. How dangerous is that going to be?